Hey guys! Alright, so it's pretty late, but I wanted to do a pour before the night was over. And I'm going to layer my cups just like Tidal Pool. And I'm going to do two cups. So it's a two cup pour. And I'm going to use two 18 ounce cups. I'm going to layer my cups exactly like Tidal Pool and go from there. So when we're back in a minute, I'm going to have my two white puddles. My two cups are full and I'm going to simultaneously pour them and go from there. So uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. My paints are mixed appropriately, the same as Tidal Pool, and we'll go from there. See you in a few. Okay, I'm back, guys. Uh, my cups are overflowing with paints. Um, so uh, I went a little too far with my paint colors. So I'm going to do two. Um, puddles of white. My white is mixed two parts Floetrol to one part paint. And I'm going to go from there. So I'm actually going to do this just because I have very little left and I figured why not use it all up. All right. I'm like, I've got an overflowing cup over here. Canvas wrappers over there and one, two, three. We're not letting the paint kiss. We're just doing I'm going to do here is get all my paints ready for my corners instead of just putting it onto the canvas. My, um, dishwasher is on, so if it's a little loud, it's because of that.
I'm coming right down to this back corner. And I don't like the composition, so I'm going to go over here. Um, I sort of knew I was not going to like the composition as soon as I started. So I'm going to layer one more cup and work with what I've got here. Um, I'm not sure what I am going to remove and what I am going to keep. So I'm going to work with this. I'm definitely not going to work with that composition. Have some Arteza's pearl turquoise there. And the white that I have left over. I'm definitely not looking, uh, liking what I see. So, this is why we always mix up more paint than needed. I'm actually, I think I'm going to add a little bit of fire opal to this. And I had that mixed to the side, one to one.
you guys are probably thinking I'm crazy, but you know what? I think everything is gonna work out just fine. Okay. <laughs> actually quite loving the composition. I know that sounds strange, but everything is so perfect. And I want it to be imperfect. Sometimes I just want lines. And I love this piece. You guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but think when everything is said and done, you're not going to think I'm so nuts about it. This is the imperfect, perfect pour. The moment you look at a piece, you connect with it, I'm like, I love this piece. There is so much going on with it. So much to look at. All right, hold on. I wanna know who is to say what is the perfect pour? Who is to say is not the perfect pour. This is the tale of two pours. So imperfect in so many ways. Yet so perfect in many other ways.
I'm like really loving this piece. There are so many different areas and so much to look at. We have the lines, the gold, these areas, this area, the striped cells. There are so many bits of this one particular pour that consists of so many other pours. The ribbons, the cells. Huh. I think I may have gone and lost, lost my mind. Bring you guys down in just one second. All right, guys, here we go. So I am absolutely loving the bits of fire opal. Look at all those lines. Some cell action in this area. like two pores in one and they're so beautifully divided by the composition and I'm super happy I hope you guys like it it's a little wild not like me but something had to be done but uh this pour really takes the cake and I'm super pleased with it Anywho, if you guys want to connect me, uh, I have my social media links in the video description. I have a PayPal me link. You feel free to donate towards the arts if you want to continue seeing beautiful pieces um, brought to you. For any sales inquiries, please connect me via my social media, uh, social media links as well and go from there. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Love you. Bye.